Hey Sagittarius and welcome to your July 2019 love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So, we will get started. If the message doesn't uh, click with you, it's probably not your message. So, whoa. <laughs> so crazy. We got orbs everywhere. I hope the camera picked that up because I could see them. Okay. So, let's get your guys' theme of the month. All right, it is stepping into your power. You are strong beyond measure. And it's clarified with navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss and wise leader. You are a beacon for others. Success expands in your lifetime. That's awesome. Okay, so Sagittarius, stepping in to your power which is amazing because being a beacon for others fits right along with that stepping into your powers taking it taking it back standing in your own light standing up for what you believe in standing up for those who can't stand up for themselves with that um, being a beacon even if your burden seems heavy it's only making you stronger so it's, it's time to get off the sidelines. It's time to step in and stand up for yourself. You're no longer in need to live your life for others. It's time to live for you. If you choose to step into your power, your light can illuminate the path for others, which like I said, steps or uh, goes directly with your clarifying card. You, what's it say? You are a beacon for others because you're a leader. You carry wisdom. You carry radiance. You carry inspiration. Um, you know, you don't even think this of yourself. You could be totally unaware, but you are, you are, you have a depth of wisdom about you that you don't even realize that, um, that you put off, that you, you know, you just exude it. You also have navigating by the stars, following your bliss. One of my favorite cards in the whole um, deck. I just absolutely love this card. It's beautiful. Um, trust your gut. Have faith. Have faith in your higher power. Have faith in yourself. Have faith that things, if you're, you know, down and out, things are going to get better. If you believe, you allow your decisions to... Uh, to go where your heart leads. And that's going to lead you into stepping into your power. Relax. Be patient. Follow your bliss. Your life is being divinely guided. And it's going to lead you right into where you're meant to be. Stepping into that power. Could be having the courage to, you know, step out of one situation in love and into another. Um, no matter what, you know, people, your family, your friends, no matter what they say. Your lessons that you have been through in this lifetime are are a light for others, an inspiration for others. Your guys' first card out is the star. How appropriate. That's an amazing way to start your reading. Your next card, the two of swords and the ten of pentacles. The person you are dealing with, the six of swords... The Ten of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, then we have the Seven of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck and shared energy, the Four of Swords, followed by the Eight of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, so for some of you, you're taking a step back. You are taking some time. You've been through some shit. You've been through some difficult times. Um, and for some of you, it's been enough where you have to walk away. You're choosing to love yourself first. You're choosing to 
um, walk away from whatever it was that broke your heart, stepping into a new you, stepping into your power. Um, for some of you, this is you waiting, taking a step back, resting, because you're waiting on somebody to walk away from a situation and choose you in love. For some of you, they chose the other person and now you're needing that to heal that heart. Because the Eight of Cups is you walking away, typically. But if you're a cross watcher, then obviously it's the other person. But um, And the Five of Cups is when they walk away from you, typically. But I'm seeing both scenarios here. It's like you didn't want to walk away, but they weren't making a choice. So you had to do what was best for you. You had to step into your own power. Look at the same, same guy. Stepping into your own power, following your own bliss, and you need some healing from that. You could have come out of this time of healing, could, uh, this time of rest, reevaluation, and realized that you need more than this. You can't, you can't be in this place of indecision. Some of you, you haven't gotten to that place yet. For some of you, your person is the one taking this time, this pause, to decide which, um, which, which situation or which direction they're going to go in and they are going to walk towards you, walking away from their own li old life and choosing you. So let's see what we got here. Let's go with, we're going to go with the good old Raider weight today. Okay, so your first card out, it's all about healing, replenishing your own soul, taking the time to make sure you're okay. You're putting your trust in, in the divine. You're putting your trust in the universe that they're going to return whatever is meant for you in, in the time that it's meant to happen. For some of you, this is seven days, seven weeks. Um, for some of you, in the time of Aquarius, which is in January, which would be seven months. So seven days, seven weeks, seven months. All right, yeah. So clarified by the Hermit, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Virgo, or this could happen in the time of Virgo, which is um, August, which would be seven weeks. Yeah, seven weeks is the time of Virgo. So, you're finding a lot of healing, though. You're going within, and you're finding that healing. Because you see the star is the same star that's in the star card. So, you are finding healing in the situation that this person put you in. Could be a Gemini as well, because we got the lovers out. That's the only major arcana. So, this reading, there is nothing major happening except for in your own life. This is within your own soul. The only major movement, the only major, um, you know, thing that you're seeing, any changes that you're seeing is within your own self because there is no other major arcana out. So a lot of that is because you're stepping into your power. You're following your own bliss. You're doing what you want. You're going within and finding that, that drive, finding that soul's purpose after this time of healing. And you're ready to set out in your spiritual path because you are that wise leader. You are that beacon of light. You are going to lead people um, or inspire people, I just heard. Why is the two of swords here? But you have a decision to make um, and it's not coming easy to you. You're not sure what to do. You're in a situation that you don't like or things are not turning out in the way that you had hoped. Um, you could want a serious commitment and somebody's very um, back and forth, in and out, very, could be just a sexual commitment and you want an actual, like a relationship commitment. You want more than just this flighty in and out. You want the real deal. You want this. <clears throat> Why is the 10 of Pentacles here? That is your future energy coming in though. So you are going to get this fulfillment. Yeah, after, but you feel like you're trapped in this. You could 
be wanting to leave a family situation, but you're feeling very stuck. You feel like you can't get out of this. For some of you, this first row is your person's. The first row is your person for a lot of you. So the per your person could be a Gemini, Aquarius, Virgo, or um, an air or earth sign. They're the ones that are retreating. They're the ones that need to find some, uh, some healing. Uh, they have a decision to make. Even though they're going to head towards you, Sagittarius, right now, they're not making that choice. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands. So they... They are going to choose you, but right now they're not making that choice because they're feeling very stuck in a family situation. So their family could disapprove. Um, they, you know, they could have a family and they are finding it hard to walk away from that. Um, but with their decision, even though it's not made yet, this is where it's headed. So, like I said, this could be a sexual relationship already, but they're not able to give you what you want right now. And so you're feeling like you need to walk away. You could have given, you know, this could have been going on for eight months, eight weeks, like, but I'm seeing two years, four years. Actually, I'm seeing anywhere from up to 11 years ago. So, I mean, this isn't a new situation that you're dealing with. Okay, so you Sagittarius are contemplating, well, it can, you can be either one, but the majority of you I'm seeing a person that being in the top row. So one of you is allowing your intuition to guide you, to lead the way. Um, why is the Six of Swords here? What are they being led out of? Right into healing. <laughs> There's that Four of Swords. This is your row, Sagittarius, for the majority of you. Um, you're allowing your intuition to lead you away from the situation um, and it's going to create this need for healing because you're tired of the burden you're tired of the heaviness you're tired of not feeling like you're getting what you want you're tired of being the one that always has to sacrifice why is the ten of wands here for sagittarius you're tired of the compromise always being you have to give up what you want and things have to be done their way. You could be dealing with somebody who has to have control of everything. But you are you are releasing this burden. You're putting an end to this cycle. You're wanting healing as well. So with both stars coming out in both rows, um, this is like star-crossed lovers. This is a divine connection. Um, the end, the cycle needs to be put to an end and it needs to be released to, you know, make your wish and release it up to God. Let go of it. Let go of the outcome. This is also divine timing because it's in the center. So, um, it is coming in for you. The six of wands clarifying the seven of pentacles. So plant your seeds of intention. Continue to work on yourself. This is going to come together. Another seven, seven weeks, seven days, seven months. Um, but continue to work on yourself, to build yourself. Be patient, which is hard to do. But most importantly, make it known to the universe what it is that you want. Make your wish. Release the past and make your wish for what you want in the future. And then plant those intentions, release it to the heavens and you have success you bring in success in um by doing that your guys' situation the seven of wands you feel like you're constantly having to battle for this person's attention for this person's effort for uh why is the seven of wands here yeah it's like you constantly have to battle for them to offer you this cup um you're like why is it this way why does it have to be this way they tell you they want to be with you. They tell you that they're coming, but yet you feel like you're stuck at this crossroads and waiting for this cup. It is going to win, though, because the Seven of Wands, they do win. They do uh, protect and um, that success and hold a new beginning in their hand at the same time. So this love is coming in for you. 
So I'll release that inner conflict, release that inner doubt. Why is a five? Whoa. All right. Yeah, so there's a lot of conflict within your own mind, within your own heart. Um, there also could be a lot of competition. Um, but release the worry about them holding back. Release the worry about them not opening up, them, you know, telling you exactly how they feel because there is deep passion here. There is a deep love for each other. This is also following your intuition um, to get out of that place of conflict. But you're only becoming more, your vibration is only rising by you releasing that, following your intuition and, um, and continuing to uh, invest in yourself. The last card out is the Four of Pentacles once again. So there really, there is a fear as well here about money. Uh, there is a fear about not having enough. And look at that. Wow. So in the bottom row, you have the Seven of Wands twice and the Four of Wands, uh, Four of Pentacles twice. And then once again, the bottom of the deck is the Two of Wands. So you have to release fighting so hard to get them to open up. If you just concentrate on yourself and, you know, being patient, you're going to succeed. This is going to work out, but it's got to be in divine timing. We can't force it or rush it. Um, but you're wondering if you want to continue holding on to this situation in your time of rest, in your time of waiting for this person to come. You're wondering if you're waiting all for naught um, because they're not seeing what you are offering. They're not seeing the value. They're not seeing how big this could truly be if they would trust. So you're, you're ready to cut yourself out of this situation. You're ready to remove whatever it is that is holding you back from moving forward. You do have the magician underneath that. So you are able to manifest this connection. Like you're ready to step into your power. So do it. You're going to find success. You know, you are strong enough to get through this. You're strong enough to wait this out. Um, just continue to work on yourself. Continue to invest in and weed your own garden. I'm hearing that. Weed your own garden. There are people in your space that are not for your best good. Um, and when you take a step back and, and rest and heal from this broken heart, you're going to see who those people are. But right now, the person you're dealing with, they're just trying to find who they are. And while they're doing that, they're finding healing. It's becoming clearer. They're going to learn as well that they need to follow their bliss. And their bliss leads them right to your door. But like I said, you both have the star card. Yours is in your current position. Theirs is in their um, recent past position. So release, or sorry, that's vice versa. Release that need for control is what I'm hearing. You're, this has to happen in divine timing. And divine timing is here because it's in the current position for the timing card. You just have to believe. All right, you got your love life will ascend to a higher level of commitment. Bottom of the deck, clarifying that, let go of control issues. This can only happen when you give it up to the universe and allow it to come in in its own time. Their card is free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And it's clarified with release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Wow. That's an outcome for this connection in July. All right, so you got reconciliation. Okay, so these are your cards, engagement. This will go to a higher level of commitment when you let go of control issues. Theirs is free themselves and release their ex and your outcome. So you have children. Your love life is being affected by children, so they could be not coming forward, not moving as fast as you'd like, or vice versa, because one of you have children, and there's a worry around that. But someone from your past is returning, and just hold Hold on to that faith because divine timing is at work in your love life. 
Wow. That's a pretty awesome, pretty awesome set of cards there. So like I said, it is coming for you. There will be success here. There will be a commitment here, but you have to let go of, of the control issues and allow it to happen in that divine timing. They have to walk away from that family issue that they feel stuck in. More than likely, it's because there's children involved that they feel stuck, but they have to free themselves and re release that X. But this is coming to a reconciliation. Just be patient. It is worth the wait. Your guys's, wow, your guys's card. Quiet time. Take some quiet time alone. Which how many times did we have that now? Twice? I know it's in here again somewhere. Take some time, quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. And clarifying that is you have divine knowledge that can help others through with your spiritual teachings. Look at that. Wow. Pretty, pretty cool. Your next card on the bottom of the deck is inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed your July reading, and I will see you next time. God bless.